all right good day welcome loves welcome i am back all right um was gone busy doing things so let's see what we got going on here all right so we're gonna start off with the sign of pisces all right so let's see what we have most important message for the sign of pisces all right let's see what we got god it's been like what almost like two weeks since i put a video out but it's to be expected all right so, when you're trying to enjoy life. So, let's see what we got here for Pisces. Let's do two more and get to it. All right, last one here. All right. All right, so we are starting with the Queen of Wands. Could be taking your power back, all right? Trying to free yourself here. Um, let's see what comes out here for the sign of Pisces. For some reason, I'm getting forgiveness. I don't know why I'm getting that, but mm, doves. All right, let's see what's going on here for the sign of Pisces. So I feel like pay attention to like white doves. All right, white doves represent purity, innocence. We do have here the ace of swords here. So getting some type of clarity that I feel like, yeah, that I feel like you are starting to realize that you need to seek some sort of forgiveness. Yeah, meditate on it, all right? There could have been something that happened, obviously, to create a situation where you need to do some self-reflecting. Self-reflection brings enlightenment, brings clarity, all right, revelation. So right now, you might be feeling a little blocked off because that's what you're doing at the moment here. Okay. All right, let's get for the Ace of Swords here. And I feel like you're realizing that, you know, and I've told people before, you don't, you know, forgive, release, and let go. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to allow that behavior. It's just accepting what is and moving on from it. You can't change it. You can't nothing, right? So why hold on to it in a negative way? Find a positive way to move forward from those situations. Oh my God, you guys. There it is. Yes, I feel like you are realizing something. I feel like something is fucking painful for you. All right? Yeah, because we do have the death here. So something could have came to an end. All right? I don't know what it is that you need to seek forgiveness on, but whatever it is, you need to put forth effort. Endings can bring new beginnings, so forgiveness could bring a new beginning. Give me for the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And that would be you, Pisces, the Knight of Cups. So maybe you want to offer a gift, a night out, picnic, Something here, just something we have. Wow, the Queen of Wands here. There it is. And there's that Eight of Swords. I feel like you just cannot, like, let go of something. Like, you, your head is, it's like you're trapped in some type of a thought. All right, let's get a little more here for the Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace, Ace of Cups. We have here the Emperor. All right. Yeah, there was a falling out here. Big falling out. And that's why you need to seek forgiveness here. Yeah, there's a spark here. There, there's something going on here, Pisces. Yeah. You're hanging on to hope to re-spark something, reignite something, to renew something here. But it's like you're keeping it to yourself. You haven't really taken any action here. All right, give me for the emperor. The ace of cups, yeah, it's like two aces, that water, that fire. We do have the moon here. It's like you're kind of just hiding in the dark. You're just kind of like keeping yourself concealed. Your emotions, what it is that you truly want here. It's like you're not showing a lot of emotional emotion on the outside but I feel like if on the inside you're feeling it but you're keeping it to yourself but yet you're holding on to some type of hope faith optimism we have the seven of swords 
Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? I feel like you're trying to like, and we got another seven here. All right, so you could be kind of just like feeling a little like you don't want to do a whole lot here. Give me a little more for these double sevens. You could be trying to strategize something here. I also feel like you're trying to like hold back from your emotions, your feelings. You're just trying to be like, yeah, I'm just getting concealed. All right, well, let's get this wrapped up here for Pisces here. We have the two of pentacles. So I feel like you have a decision to make. All right, you're trying to weigh your options. You're trying to weigh your feelings, your desires, everything here. I feel like you're trying to like manipulate yourself into like how you really feel. Give me a little more here. Persephone. Quit it. All right, let's get this wrapped up here for Pisces. We have the three of pentacles. So it's about a collaboration here. Teamwork. We have the temperance. So maybe you're supposed to be collaborating with the fire sign, the Sagittarius here. With the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Temperance. And I feel like there's like a connection here, like a soul connection. If there could be some sort of a contract, we have here the Two of Wands. So I feel like this is a perfect balance because we have two Aces, the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Yeah, there might need to be some type of plans to like maybe travel towards one another if you live at a distance here. All right, somebody may have to go back to their hometown with that four of wands. We do have here the judgment card. So I feel like you're being called here. All right, give me for the judgment. I also feel like you feel liberated here, but I feel like you're not moving very fast. Give me for the Knight of Pentacles. I'm also getting like a practical, like you're trying to be reasonable, practical about things, taking things a little slow here. It's like you haven't released this person yet. And I feel like it's because there's, somebody's feeling stuck. Like they don't know where to go, what to do. And I feel like it's the thoughts. We have here the Six of Cups. Yes, it's a soulmate situation. You guys know each other. I feel like this pains you. There could be a third party in the way, but I feel like, yeah, the reason why you it hits you so hard emotionally and stuff is because this connection is helping you grow. All right? This situation, this soul connection, it's helping you grow. All right? You're feeling very nostalgic here, reminiscing. Ooh. All right, let's wrap it up here for the sign of Pisces. There's some divine energies that are trying to move you in the right direction is what I'm really getting here. So well, let's wrap it up here for Pisces. For some reason, Pisces, you always get a Sagittarius. You're at a crossroads, another two. Yeah, on which way to go. But your spirit guides, I feel like, are trying to help. You're feeling just like you don't know what to do. Wow. Okay. So we have the hanged one here. There needs to be a release. It could be that third party thing, but it's like your just mind is restless. I feel like you're also waiting for some sort of like confirmation here. Um, but it's like, this is where your fulfillment lies. All right. All things require sacrifice in life. All right. There may need to be some sort of reuniting, something like that, but you're hiding your pain. All right. It's taking a lot of strength here on how you're really feeling. You're holding on to a fire sign. Somebody who's in the public eye, somebody, you know, who gets a lot of praise, admiration. All right, but could be just watching from afar. So 
figure out what it is that you need to do because I feel like there's a little stuff in there that um, you and you only you and only you will know. All right, so let's pull here from this deck for Pisces. You saw the passion card. So this is true love, the romance of a lifetime here. It's a very playful, fun energy here. All right, so you guys could have that little playful energy. So keep an open mind here. Yeah, you need to release somebody, an ex, all right? Or there's somebody that you need to release, and that's when things will unravel here for you, okay? Let your friends help. Ask for help. Ask for support from others, all right? Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask, and I feel like it's that third person, all right? There's somebody that is not who they truly are. All right, let's get one more here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you romance. Yeah, your soulmate wants to come in. All right, but you're codependent here. There's that reculate, re reculate, <laughs> reconciliation. And then we have release your ex. Yes, there's somebody that you need to relate least. I feel like somebody who's very fucking deceiving and cruel and maybe you're being manipula manipulated. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, loves. I'm going to try to get more out now that I'm back. So have a good day.